This week's topic is about Taiwanese people getting scammed to work overseas in Cambodia. Awfully specific, isn't it? Well, here's the thing. It's been in the news a lot lately because more and more people are falling for these scams. And make no mistake, this is about human trafficking. Here's the gist of what's going on. Scammers will post false job ads online. They'll advertise high pay for little to no experience. Typically, they'll advertise more than twice the average salary in Taiwan for basic work like data input, maintenance, and low-level administration. Does that sound too good to be true? That's because it is. People who respond to those ads and commit to taking those jobs will have their passport taken away. The criminals will then arrange travel for the victims. Then someone from the criminal organization will accompany the victim to the airport to make sure they get on the plane. Once there, victims are held against their will and forced to work in harsh conditions with none of the promised compensation. And if the victim's family want their loved ones back, then they have to pay a ransom. For every person that the organization sends to Cambodia, the scammers in Taiwan can get 100,000 new Taiwan dollars, which is about 3,000 US dollars. How do I know all of this? Well, it's certainly not because I'm part of the criminal organization, if that's what you're thinking. Authorities caught one of the ringleaders operating one of these horrific schemes. The suspect is a 41-year-old woman surnamed Zhang, who operated out of Zhanghua County in central Taiwan. Authorities arrested her and three of her accomplices. Authorities also managed to prevent five other people who were about to get shipped to Cambodia from flying out. Over a period of three months, Zhang and her people managed to scam and traffic over 50 people to Cambodia. Where did Zhang find that many people to scam? Social media. Her phony job ads were posted to Instagram and Facebook groups for job seekers. And I find that particularly chilling because social media has become a regular part of everyday life. Now, this is a show where we focus on what's happening online in Taiwan. I like to try and make it fun and interesting, but every once in a while we get these serious stories that act as a reminder that the internet can be a scary place. So, as a reminder, just remember to be careful and do your homework whenever you choose to interact with someone online you never met in real life.